you are beautiful. Smart. If you value your continued existence, if you have any plans about seeing tomorrow, there's one thing you never ever put in a trap. And what would that be, sir? Apples rubbish. I hate apples. You said you loved them. No, no, no. I love yogurt. Yogurt's my favourite. Give me yogurt. I hate yogurt. Just stuffed with bits in. You said it was your favourite. New mouth. New rules. It's like eating after cleaning your teeth. Everything tastes. Draw! What is it? What's wrong with you? Wrong with me? It's not my fault. Why can't you give me any decent food? You're Scottish. Fry something. Bacon. <laughs> bacon. That's bacon. Are you trying to poison me? You see? Beans. Beans are evil. Bad, bad beans. Bread and butter. Now you're talking. And stay out! We've got some carrots. Carrots? Are you insane? No, wait. Hang on. I know what I need. I need. I need. I need. Fish fingers and custard. Mm. Funny. Am I? Good. Funny's good. What's your name? Amelia Pond. Oh, that's a brilliant name. Amelia Pond. Like a name in a fairy tale. Oh, in Scotland, Amelia. No, I had to move to England. It's rubbish. So what about your mum and dad, then? They're upstairs. I thought we'd have woken them by now. Don't have a mum and dad. Just an aunt. I don't even have an aunt. You're lucky. I know. So your aunt? Where is she? She's out. And she left you all alone? I'm not scared. Of course you're not. You're not scared of anything. Box falls out of the sky, man falls out of a box, man eats fish custard. And look at you. Just sitting there. So you know what I think? What? Must be out of a scary crack in your wall. Uh, uh, High-speed air cannon. Lousy way to travel. Where are we? Uh, 600 feet down, 20 miles naturally, puts us at the heart of the ship. I'd say... Lancashire. So what's this, then? A cave? Can't be a cave. Looks like a cave. It's a rubbish dump. And it's minging. Yes, <laughs> but only food refuse. Organic coming from feeder tubes from all over the ship. Those are squidgy like a water mm. bed. Yeah, but feeding what? No. It's not a rubbery thing. Yeah. It's wet. It's like... Uh, it's not a floor. It's, uh... So... It's a what? The next word is kind of the scary word. You probably want to take a moment, get yourself in a calm place. Go on. Um, it's a tongue. A tongue. A tongue. A great big tongue. This is a mouth. This whole place is a mouth. We're in a mouth. Yes, yes, yes. But on the plus side, roomy. How do we get out? How big is this beastie? It's gorgeous. Blind. If this is just the mouth, I'd love to see the stomach. No, not right now. Doctor, how do we get out? 
OK, it's being fed through surgically implanted feeder tubes. So, the normal entrance is... closed for business. We can try, though. Yeah. Don't stop. Don't move. Do it. Just start. Swallow it, Flip. Are they breaking the chemo receptors? Chemo what? The eject button. Part of the point of an eject button. Think about it. <laughs> And yes, you are covered in sick. Where are we? Overspilled pipe, I'd guess. Oh, oh God, it oh, oh, that's not the pipe. Oh. Woo. Can we get out? One door. One door switch. One condition. We forget everything we saw. Look familiar. That's the carrot. Oh, here's the stick. There's a creature living in the heart of this ship. What's it doing here? No, that's not going to work on me. So come on, big old beast below decks. And everyone who protects gets shoved down its throat. Is that how it works? Oh, stop it. I'm not leaving and I'm not forgetting. And what are you fellas going to do about it? Stick out your tongues? Huh? <laughs> So you're a bomb, an inconceivably <laughs> massive Dalek bomb. What? What's that? There's an oblivion <laughs> continuum inside you, a catch of wormhole that provides perpetual <laughs> power. <laughs> Detonate that and the Earth will bleed through into another dimension. <laughs> now keep down. <laughs> Detonation sequence activated. Time corridor establishing. Time jump in 30 bells. Well? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Never seen one up close before. So what? They've, they've wired him up to detonate. Oh no, not wired him up. Here's a bomb walking, talking. Wow! Exploding. The moment that flash is red. There's a, a blue wire or something you have to cut, isn't there? There's always a blue wire <laughs> or a red one. You're not helping. It's incredible. He talked to us about memories of the Great War. Someone else's stolen thoughts implanted in a positronic brain. Tell me about it, Grace. Well, tell me about your life. <laughs> Doctor, I really don't think this is a time. <laughs> tell me and prove you're human. Tell me everything. Countdown proceeding. My family ran the, the post office. It's a little place just, just near the abbey, just by the ash trees. It used to be eight trees, but there was a storm. And your parents? Come on, tell me. Good people, kind people. Yes. They died, of course. It's a kind of look for you. What was that like? How did it feel? How did it make you feel, Edwin? Tell me. Tell me now. Oh, it hurts. It hurt, Doctor. It hurt so badly. It was like a wound. I thought it was worse than a wound. It was like I'd been emptied out. It was nothing. Good. Remember it now, Edwin. The ash streets by the post office and your mum and dad are losing them and the men in the trenches you saw die. Remember it. Feel it. You feel it because you're human. You're not like them. You're not like the darkness. It hurts, Doctor. It hurts so much. Good, good, good. Brilliant. Embrace it. That means you're alive. They cannot explode that bomb because you're a human being. You are flesh and blood. They cannot explode that bomb. Believe it. You are Professor Edwin Bracewell, and you, my friend, are a human being. That working. I can't stop it. Ever fancied someone you know you shouldn't? What? Hurts, doesn't it? What kind of good hurt? I really shouldn't talk about her. Oh, there's a her. What was her name? Dorabella. Dorabella? <laughs> it's a lovely name. It's a beautiful name. What was she like, Edwin? Such a smile. 
and her eyes, her eyes were so blue, almost violent, like the last touch of sunset, the edge of the world. with your head. Your hand is not made of stone. It is! Look at it! It's in your mind, I promise you. You can move that hand, you can let go. I can, okay? I've tried, and I can't. It's stone. The angel is gonna come, and it's gonna turn this light off, and then there's nothing I can do to stop it, so do it. Concentrate. Move your hand. I can't. Then we're both gonna die. You're not gonna die. Don't kill the lights. You've gotta go. You know you have. You've got all that stuff with River, and that's all got to happen. You know you can't die here. Time can be rewritten. It doesn't work like that. Keep your eyes on it. Don't blink. Run! See, I'm not going. I'm not leaving you here. I don't want you to die for me, Doctor. Do I look that clingy? You can move your hand. It's stone. It's not stone. You've got to go. Those people up there will die without you. If you stay here with me, you'll have as good as killed them. Amy Pond, you are magnificent, and I'm sorry. It's OK. I understand. You've got to leave me. Oh, no, I'm not leaving you. Never. I'm sorry about this. No! Ah, see? Not stone. Now run. Let me. Yeah, and you're alive. God, I've got a mark. Look at my hand. Yes, and you're alive, did I mention? Maybe your teeth. Have you got space teeth? Yeah, alive. All I'm saying. The statue is advancing along our corridors. And, sir, my torch keeps flickering. They all do. So does the gravity globe. Clerics, we're down to four men. Expect incoming. That is the angels. They're coming, and they're draining the path themselves. Which means we won't be able to see them. Which means we can't stay here. So two more incoming. Any suggestions? The statues are advancing on all sides. We don't have the climbing equipment to reach the Byzantium. There's no way out, no way back, no way out. No pressure, but this is usually when you have a really good idea. There's always a way out. 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 Doctor, can I speak to the doctor, please? Hello, Angels. What's your problem? Your power will not last much longer. And the Angels will be with you shortly. Sorry, sir. Why are you telling me this? There's something the Angels are very keen you should know before the end. Which is? I died of fear. I'm sorry? You told me my fear would keep me alive. But I died afraid, in pain and alone. You made me trust you, and when it mattered, you let me down. What are they doing? They're trying to make him angry. Sorry, sir. The angels were very keen for you to know that. Well, then, the angels have made their second mistake because I'm not going to let that pass. I'm sorry you're dead, Bob, but I swear to whatever is left of you, they will be sorrier. But you're trapped, sir. And about to die. Yeah, he's trapped. And you know what? Speaking of traps, this trap has got a great big mistake in it. A great big whopping mistake. More mistake, sir. Trust me. Yeah. Trust me. Always. You lot, trust me. <laughs> sir, two more incoming. We have faith, sir. Then give me your gun. I'm about to do something incredibly stupid and dangerous, but I do. Jump! Jump where? Don't just jump as you can. Come on, leave a face, Bishop, on my signal. What signal? You won't miss it. Sorry, can I ask again? You mentioned a mistake with me. Oh, big, big mistake. Really huge. Didn't anyone ever tell you there's one thing you never put in a trap if you're smart, if you value your continued existence, if you have any plans about seeing tomorrow, there's one thing you never, ever put in a trap. And what would that be, sir?
your eyes. You're on the flight deck. The doctor's here. I teleported you. See? Told you I could get it working. River Song, I could bloody kiss you. Oh, maybe when you're older. Son. The angels are draining the loss of the ship's power, which means the shield's gonna release. Bob, I presume. The time field is coming. It will destroy our reality. Yeah, look at you all running away. What can I do for you? There is a rupture in time. The angels calculate that if you throw yourself into it, it will close and they will be saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could do, could do that. But why? Your friends would also be saved. Well, there is that. I've traveled in time. I'm a complicated space time event too. Throw me in. I'll be serious. Compared to me, these angels are more complicated than you, and it'd take every single one of them to amount to me, so get a grip. Doctor, I can't let you do this. No, seriously. Get a grip. You're not gonna die here. No, I mean it. River, Amy, get a grip. Oh, you genius. Sir, Sir. the angels need you to sacrifice yourself now. now. Thing is, Bob, the angels are draining all the power from this ship, every last bit of it, and you know what? I think they've forgotten where they're standing. I think they've forgotten the gravity of the situation. Or to put it another way, angels. You hold on tight and don't you let them for anything. No, no. and it is 1580. <laughs> I know! My daughter, Isabella! No, you're not coming in. Just stop there. Told you have my daughter, not... Isabella! I demand on, you let me see no, my daughter, Isabella! Please, it's your father. He will arrest you, Isabella! How are you doing that? I am 
loving it. You're like Houdini, only finds slightly scary girls, and he was shorter, will be shorter. I'm rambling. I'll ask you again, Signor. Who are you? Why don't you check this out? Library card, of course. It's with these many despair. Pale, creepy girls who don't like sunlight and can't be seen. Ha! Am I thinking what I think I'm thinking? But the city, why shut down the city you unless... Now, Senor, we shall call for the steward. If you're lucky. Listen, I would love to stay here. This whole thing. I'm thrilled. Oh, this is Christmas. Doctor! Please, I just met some vampires. Hey, what is it? I went to the other house. Doctor. And creepy girls and everything. Vampires. <laughs> we think we just saw a vampire. Yeah, 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 I know. Amy was just telling me. Yeah, yeah, the doctor actually went to their house. Oh. Right. Well, OK, so. First, we need to get back in there somehow. What? How do we do that? Back in where? Come and meet my new friend. Everybody out, out, out! Oh, Into the church, that's right! Go no after the door! It's make your mind up time in both worlds. Bye. I need to find my friends. Friends? Is that the right word for the people you acquire? Friends are people you stay in touch with. Your friends never see you again once they've grown up. The old man prefers the company of the young, does he not? You. I'm afraid you may experience some bruising. Who's the doctor? I don't know. I want to do something for you. Freezing TARDIS was real, but now I'm not so sure. Oh, I think the baby's dying. Honestly? Would I make it up at a time like this? Well, you do have a history of being very lovely. <laughs> Why are they so desperate to kill us? They're scared. Fear generates savagery. <laughs> When you always do. It's what you do. Not always. I'm sorry. Then what is the point of you? This is the dream. Definitely this one. No. If 
we die here, we wake up, yeah? Unless we just die. Either way, this is my only chance of seeing him again. This is the dream. How do you know? <laughs> because if this is real life, I don't want it. I don't want it. So, I think I've met these creatures before. Different branch of the species, mind, but all the same. Let's see if our friends thawed out. Are you sure? By yourself? Very sure. But the sting... Venom gland takes at least 24 hours to recharge. Am I right? I know what I'm doing. I'll be fine. I'm the doctor. I've come to talk. I'm going to remove your mask. You are beautiful. Remnant of a bygone age on planet Earth. And by the way, lovely mode of travel. Geothermal currents projecting you up for a network of tunnels. Gorgeous, mind if I sit? Now, your people have a friend of mine. I want her back. Why did you come to the surface? What do you want? Oh, I do hate to monologue. Give us a bit back. How many are you? I'm the last of my species. Really? No. Last of the species. The Clempari defence. <laughs> As an interrogation defence, it's a bit old hat, I'm afraid. I'm the last of my species. No, you're really not. Because I'm the last of my species and I know how it sits in a heart. So don't insult me. Let's start again. Tell me your name. Alea. How long has your tribe been sleeping under the earth, Alea? It's not difficult to work out. You're 300 million years out of your comfort zone. The question is, what woke you now? We were attacked. The drill? Our sensors detected a threat to our life support systems. The warrior class was activated to prevent the assault. We will wipe the vermin from the surface and reclaim our planet. Do we have to say vermin? They're really very nice. Primitive apes? Extraordinary species. You attack them, they'll fight back. But. There's a peace to be brokered here. I can help you with that. This land is ours. We lived here long before the apes. Doesn't give you automatic rights to it now, I'm afraid. Humans won't give up the planet. So we destroy them. You underestimate them. You underestimate us. One tribe of Homo reptilia against six billion humans. You've got your work cut out. We did not initiate combat, but we can still win. Tell me where my friend is. Give us back the people who were taken. No. I'm not going to let you provoke a war, Leia. There'll be no battle here today. The fire of war is already lit. A massacre is due. Not while I'm here. I'll gladly die for my cause. What will you sacrifice for yours? Hand the Byzantium. All through the universe, rips in the continuum. How could it be following me? Some sort of space-time cataclysm, an explosion, maybe. Big enough to put cracks in the universe. But what? Four minutes fifty, we have to go. The angels laugh when I didn't know. Prisoner Zero knew me. Everybody knows, except me. Doctor, just leave it. But where there's an explosion, there's shrapnel. Doctor, you, you can't put your hand in there. Why not?
I don't know. Doctor! She was there when the gas started. She must have been poisoned. You! Okay, get in the TARDIS, both of you. Do this! Doctor! <laughs> Rory, can you hear me? I don't understand. Shh, shh, shh. Don't talk. Doctor, is he okay? We have to get him onto the TARDIS. We were on the hill. I can't die here. Don't say that. You're so beautiful. I'm sorry. Him. If time energy catches up with you, you'll never have been born. It will erase every moment of your existence. You will never have lived at all. At all. Amy, move away from the light. If it touches you, you'll be wiped from history. Amy, move away now. No, I am not leaving him. We have to help him. The light's already around him. We can't help him. I am not leaving him. We have to. No! I'm sorry. Get off me! I'm sorry. Get off me! No! 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 Let me out! Please let me out! I need to get to Rory! No! Uh. Like... If his body's absorbed, I'll forget him. He'll never have existed. You can't let that happen. Doing? Where are we? Paris, 2010 AD, and this is the mighty Musée d'Orsay, home to many of the greatest paintings in history. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, ignore that. I've got something more important to show you. Take all your chances while you can Never know when they'll pass you by Like a sum the mathematician cannot solve Like me Trying my hardest to explain Glad to be of help. You were nice about my tie. Yes. And today is another cracker, if I may say so. But I just wondered, between you and me, in a uh, hundred words, where do you think Van Gogh rates in the history of art? Well, um, big question. Um, but to me, Van Gogh is the finest painter of the world. Certainly the most popular, great painter of all time. The most beloved. His command of color, the most magnificent. He transformed the pain of his tormented life into ecstatic beauty. Pain is easy to portray, but to use your passion and pain to portray the ecstasy and joy and magnificence of our world, no one had ever done it before. Perhaps no one ever will again. To my mind, that strange wild man who roamed the fields of Provence was not only the world's greatest artist but also one of the greatest men who ever lived. Vincent, sorry. 
I'm sorry, is it too much? No. They are tears of joy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Sorry about the beard. <laughs> Pilot has now been found. Yes, I was a bit worried that you were going to say that. He be too, Doctor, doesn't he? The correct pilot has been found. The correct pilot has ah, been found. Go. The correct pilot has been found. Uh, what's happening? It's pulling me in. I'm the new pilot. Can you do it? You should fly the ship safely. No, I'm way too much for the ship. My the hand touches my panel. Has been the found. planet doesn't blow up. The whole solar system does. The correct pilot has been found. No, worst choice ever. I promise you stop this. Doctor! He's getting worse! He doesn't want everyone, Craig. He didn't want you. I, I, I spoke to him. He said he, he said I couldn't help him. He didn't want Sophie before today, but now it does. Why? What's changed? No! no, I gave her the idea of leaving. It's a machine that needs to leave. It wants people who want to escape, but you don't want to leave, Craig. You're Mr. Sofa Man. Doctor! Craig, you can shut down the engine. Put your hand on the pedal and concentrate on why you want to stay. Craig, no! Will it work? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Is that a lie? Of course it's a lie! It's good enough for me! Geronimo! Ah! 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 Stop ah! Ah! What's keeping you here? Think about everything that makes you want to stay here. Why don't you want to leave? Oh, Sophie! I don't want to leave Sophie! I can't leave Sophie! I love Sophie! Oh. I love you too, Craig, you idiot! Honestly, do you mean that? Of course I mean it. Do you mean it? I've always meant it. Seriously, though, do you mean it? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Hey, what about the monkeys? Oh, no, not now, not again, Craig. The planet's about to burn. For God's sake, kiss the girl! Kiss the girl! Oh. Doctor? You've done it. <laughs> You've done it! Oh, now the screen's just, just zeros, now it's minus ones, minus twos, minus threes. Big yes! Help, help me, 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 Big no. Help me, 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 Does it ever bother you, Amy, that your life doesn't make any sense? What was that? Okay, you need a proper look. Gotta draw its fire, give it a target. You know how sometimes I have really brilliant ideas? Yeah. Sorry. Look at me, I'm a target! What is that? Cyber arm, arm of a Cyberman. I'm part of the Cyberman. Well, sort of part man, part robot. The organic part must have died out years ago. Now, the robot part is looking for, well, fresh meat. What, us? Yeah, it's just like being an organ donor, except you're alive and sort of screaming. Uh, I need to get round behind it. Could you draw its fire? What, like you did? You'll be fine if you're quick. It's only got one arm, literally. <sighs> Doctor? Scrabbing it, sir. Kiss me. Stay where you are. It could be bluffing. Bluffing? It's an arm. I said stay where you are.
assimilated. Yeah? You and whose body?
Okay. I escaped then. Brilliant. I love it when I do that. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.